Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of my Moto Vlog series. I've just bought some nice new gear for my bike. Let's go and have a look at it. Okay, so first things first, security for the bike. I currently keep it in my knackered old shed outside, uh, but it is pretty secure. Um, what I have done is bought a massive chunky chain with padlocky sort of thing from Oxford. Uh, I can't show it you live because it's on the actual bike at the moment, but this is what I've bought. Is it here? Is it here? Is it there? Don't know. Okay, secondly, uh, to tie the chain around something, so I'm going to put the chain through the swing arm in the bike around the back wheel, and I'm going to install this, oh. which is a ground or wall anchor. So this is going to be bolted down into my concrete floor in the shed, uh, because I haven't got a wooden floor on the shed, it's a concrete floor, and I'm going to put the chain through the bike and actually anchor it to this anchor or grip, put it into this anchor, whatever you call it. Uh, so that's going to be a little install video coming soon. I've also bought a disc lock, which is this one from Oxford. Uh, so it's the Alpha XA14. I haven't opened that yet or tried it out, but it looks pretty good. So I'll do a little unboxing video on that as well and see how it works, really. And what else have I got? I'm keeping it in the shed, but because my shed's a little bit leaky, I've bought a cover for the bike. So this cover is currently on the bike as well. So I can't show you that live, but that's the little bag it came in. It's just a, an outdoor cover from Oxford. And then to keep the battery nice and, nice and safe over the winter months, uh, which is now, I mean, we're middle of December at the moment, so coming up for Christmas, um, I've bought this, which is a battery tender. It basically keeps the battery topped up and in good condition, ready for when I ride it again, you know, after the, the cold's gone. Um, I'll do a little video on this as well. Uh, not very expensive these, they're pretty good. Just make sure you get the right one for your battery. If you've got a lithium iron battery, I think you need a, a, a different one to this. So I've got that. <clears throat> then moving on to my gear, I got a Banaclava. <laughs> Might go rob some banks with that as well. Keep my head warm. <clears throat> I got some Alpine Stars gloves. So these are the, what are these called? Out dry model. And I tried loads of gloves on in the shop. These seem to be the one that fit me the best. And they offer, well, they're really, really warm, but they've got some good protect protection there around the knuckles. And I think you can wipe your visor with the, the side there. So, oh, also I've tried using a phone with these and you know, electrical static signal from my hand or wherever goes through the gloves and out through the tip. So you can actually use your phone with these as well, which is great. And they Velcro on, obviously. You can Velcro them around the wrist, off and on. Yeah, it's a pair of gloves, but they look pretty good. So I've got some of them. Uh, and I got this. So the bike, as you've probably seen in, in part one, is uh, it's like glossy black and carbon, a bit of carbon fibre on there. But it's also matte black, so I wanted to match the bike as best as possible, but also not skimp on the price, so get a really good helmet. And this is the... It is the RPHA70. So I, I looked at a ton of helmets in the shop. This one's nice and light. It's the right colour. It's got a nice fix lock there at the front so it actually clips on when you're riding then you just flip it up it comes with its own foggy demister thing in there as well and it's got vents all over the place there and at the top as well I don't know whether you can see that yeah and it's also got some vents either side at the back and you just pop up and down and it's also got the emergency release there, which I'm sure will come in handy very soon as I'm 
classing myself as pretty much a new novice rider at this point and it's also got <laughs> the little top gun glasses there and the sun shield so that's pretty good as well okay the other reason i got this helmet was because when i want to mount a camera on it this has got quite a nice flat side to it so somehow get a camera on there it should be fine okay okay for clothing then i i must have tried on 20 different jackets and trousers and boots and all that kind of good stuff and i had a lot of difficulty with a lot of the products and the main reason is is because i'm going to be driving in pretty much all weathers um, i didn't want to go for leathers uh, well i did at first because they look great but i tried them on they was really tight and i was really struggling with them and obviously they don't offer much winter protection or rain protection of that so i then started to go away from leathers and go on to the gore-tex stuff and you know the cloth clothing and i bought this so this is the jacket i'm not sure if you can see it it's an oxford jacket and it also comes fully lined so you can take out the uh you know the warm little fleecy thing inside it fits me really well it's brilliant it's a brilliant fit you can get the backboard in there as well if you need a backboard it's fully waterproof windproof it's got tons of vents all over it for the summer you can open the vents and it was just a really really good fitting jacket when i popped it on in the shop um, so i bought that it's also got the zip at the bottom to go onto the trousers so i also bought the trousers i bought the trousers as well and well they're just trousers really much of a muchness same as the jacket i uh, got the little braces on there so i can also go and become a lumberjack and cut some trees down if i want to uh, and of course they've got the zip in the inside as well to attach to the jacket so that's the trousers i'll put those on in a minute and model them for you maybe okay and for me boots now for when i was a kid and i had a 600 i used to have a pair of racing boots or quite high boots on my leg and i think i ended up with i bought three pairs in the end and all three of them i just couldn't get on with them they hurt me from everywhere and I bought bigger ones, small ones, ones that were slightly bigger to try and give me a bit more comfort and I just couldn't get on with them. So I still have that in mind, you know, 20 odd years later. So what I've done this time, because the trousers go quite low, I've just bought some boots that go, you know, a little bit above the ankle. Now these are Alpine Star boots. No, they're not. Yes, they are. They're Alpine Stars. And I tried three or four different pairs of boots on these fit me absolutely perfectly and they were just lovely and oh that was lovely inside there's no laces or anything like that so they they come with the velcro um some nice thick socks on my feet and with them on they are going to do a spectacular job so i absolutely loved them boots so i got the boots okay that's it for clothing and security and gear but i've also had this present today from rg racing which is and i'm sure i will be using these these will get put to some good use i think these are my crash protectors <clears throat> so these are for uh obviously my bike the gsxr 750 uh, 2016 l6 model and these are the no frame cuts so they're damned expensive um, compared to the ones where you have to drill into your frame but there was no way i was going to drill into an immaculate bike absolutely no way so i'm going to do a little unboxing on these and an install video and see if i can figure out how to take the fairings off and pop this cr crash protection on these look absolutely superb. I got them, RG Racing. 
And they also sent me this. I didn't order this. I mean, it might be a Christmas present. And if it is, well, I'm very grateful for it. Uh, not quite sure what it is. Nano coating, protective, repels water, oil and dirt. So thanks very much for that. I didn't order it, but thank you anyway. OK, I've also ordered some tank protectors for where my knees go. Um, they're going to be here probably in the next couple of days. And what else have I ordered? Have I ordered anything else? Oh, a big chunky padlock. I've got that on my shed as well. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's all I've ordered. And that's all I've got. I don't think there's anything else. Let me just go check. No, that's pretty much all I've got, uh, which is enough. It costs a small fortune, this hobby does. And it's three degrees at the moment here in the UK. It's absolutely freezing. Uh, so I haven't been out on the bike yet. I'm really, really dying to get out on it and do a, um, a first motor vlog on it. But I haven't got a camera yet. And I don't know if you guys can help me on this, but I do want a GoPro. I really wanted the GoPro 8 black, but you have to take the battery cover off to plug a, a mic adapter in, and then you've got to plug the mic in, and it, which makes it not waterproof, and your battery could fall out. And you, It's an absolute mess the way GoPro are doing these cameras these days. I just don't understand it. They're supposed to be compact action cameras. You'd think you'd be able to just bang a mic into the side of it so then i thought let's get a gopro hero 7 black um which you can get the case but you have to put the adapter in the bottom and it's going to be big and chunky so i'm not quite sure what to do with the camera so if if you guys can help me on that one then fantastic i think the uh, gopro 8 is coming with a media mod at some point but there's nowhere that tells you what the size of it is or whether it's actually going to be any good for a motor vlogging or you know nailing to a helmet so i'm really not sure what i can do there the it's the one thing that i really wanted to get and get sorted out that i haven't been able to sort out I, you know it's big books these cameras are a lot of money so I'm not sure which camera to buy so any help with that would be superb guys okay i'm going to try these clothes on and give you a shot of it so you can laugh at me I'll see you in a bit. Get this beauty on. There you go. <laughs> Better. Right then, guys, that's about it, really. Um, I'm sure you'll see all this gear. I didn't want to put the trousers on in the boots. It was just a pain in the butt. You'll see all this gear when I get the bike uh, finally up and running and get out my first ride. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time in part three. Bye-bye.